Hello friend, Dino here from StockMusicLicensing.com bringing you the best tips and strategies for selling your music on royalty-free libraries. Now today I want to do a very quick video, a comment that a good friend of mine left on one of my previous videos. Look at this view here, look where I'm at. I don't know if you can see this, that's the beach where I have my daily swims in the afternoons. I've been swimming there uh, since I've been living here, uh, I used to come here early in the mornings in the summer, around 6 o'clock in the morning, and now I'm swimming there every afternoon around 4 o'clock. Uh, but that's not why the, I'm doing this video. The reason why I'm doing this video is because my friend, my good friend, uh, he's a fantastic composer, by the way. He left a comment on a recent video, like I was mentioning to you, and he was talking about why this, uh, our best work, our best music tracks, don't sell. And that's a good question. Why are the tracks that we think are our best work does not sell? And uh, this is a question that I still haven't <laughs> have an answer. Uh, but there's usually a solution for this. And the solution is to upload that track that you think is your work of art. Uh, it's an epic production. And upload it to multiple libraries. Upload it to different libraries. Because that track eventually will sell somewhere. But what we're talking about here is that when we're producing music, when we're writing that music track, we think that this will sell for sure because it's our best work. And, and usually it's not the case. Usually it's your average track that has been sitting there for some time that starts to sell. And that's the one that starts to bring some revenue. That's why it's so important to always be writing music, always be composing, always, never stop. And even if you think that the track that you're producing today is not that good, don't erase it. Don't and get rid of it just upload it and start building a body of work online so you can start making some money i have shared here on this channel multiple times that some of my uh, worst track that i feel like deleting from my catalog okay uh, they still make sales and these are tracks that have been there since 2017 uh, 16 even older tracks i got featured once one of my tracks got featured in audio jungle and i can tell you I was so disappointed because this is a track that they, the Audio Jungle team select, all right? You don't have a saying on this. At least that's how it was back in the day. And they chose one of my worst tracks on my catalog at that time. And that track was in the front page of Audio Jungle for a few weeks, actually. And I got sales, of course, because it was there. But it wasn't my best work. There's nothing you can do about that. That's a, so almost, almost like natural selection. Like just the, the, the staff members in Audio Jungle will see the track and they will just pick it. I was very happy when I got that email saying that one of your tracks got featured. It's going to be on the front page. But even with that, you have no choice. You don't have a saying. So keep uploading. Keep composing. Keep building that body of work that is so important online so you can start selling. That's the end game. You're not your customer. You're the composer. But you're not the one who's going to decide if that track that you're writing today is going to sell or not. Just write it and upload it. Again, this is a quick video that I wanted to do today. And uh, forgive me, I'm doing this with my mobile phone and it's windy. It's a little bit weird. Uh, I'm doing my daily walk today very late. Schedule is just up and down. Uh, when you have kids, kids get ill. And we didn't sleep at all last night. And here I am still committed to my routine even though it's not early in the morning I'm still doing my hour walk and run and jogging on this beautiful place that I call home Nathville Greece I love you all very much thank you for subscribing thank you for all the love and support thank you for all the messages leave in the comment what's your take on this again rock and roll and here's to your success